The ketogenic diet. You've heard whispers of its transformative power, its ability to melt fat and sharpen the mind. It's more than a diet. It's a complete metabolic shift, a way of life. I'd heard the stories, witnessed the before and after photos, but nothing truly prepared me for my own 30-day keto challenge. Skepticism battled excitement within me. Could I really give up bread, pasta, and those sugary treats that beckoned with siren songs? The answer, I soon discovered, was a resounding yes. The keto diet wasn't about deprivation, it was about unlocking a healthier, more vibrant version of myself. This is my story. A story of willpower tested, cravings conquered, and a newfound understanding of the incredible machine that is the human body. It's a story of transformation, and it starts right now. The first few days were, to put it mildly, an adjustment. It felt like stepping into a new world, one where my body and mind had to recalibrate to a different rhythm. Imagine waves of fatigue washing over you, like a relentless tide that just won't recede. Every step felt heavier, every task more daunting. And then there were the cravings. Oh, the cravings. A constant yearning for that forbidden slice of pizza, the one that seemed to haunt my dreams and taunt my waking hours. This, my friends, is the infamous keto flu. It's a rite of passage for many who embark on this journey. Symptoms can range from headaches to irritability and even nausea. Your body, accustomed to a life fueled by carbohydrates, is now learning to burn fat for energy. It's like teaching an old dog new tricks. It takes time, patience, and a lot of perseverance. It's a period of adaptation, and like any change, it comes with its own set of challenges. There were moments when I questioned my decision, wondering if it was all worth it. I won't sugarcoat it. The keto flu is real. It's a tangible, almost palpable experience that can make you feel like you're trudging through quicksand, but I promise you it's temporary. Just like any storm, it will pass. And when it does, the skies will clear, revealing a brighter, healthier horizon. I fought back with electrolytes, replenishing the essential minerals lost as my body transitioned to its new fuel source. Sodium, potassium, and magnesium became my allies in this battle. I drank gallons of water, silencing the siren song of sugary drinks. Hydration became my mantra, a simple yet powerful tool in my arsenal. Slowly but surely the fog lifted, the cravings subsided. It was as if my body was finally starting to understand and accept its new reality. My body was beginning to understand and embrace its new reality. The initial struggles gave way to a newfound sense of clarity and energy. The journey was far from over, but those early battles laid the foundation for the victories to come. Each challenge faced and overcome was a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. The keto diet, with all its initial hurdles, was teaching me more than just a new way to eat. It was teaching me about perseverance, about listening to my body, and about the incredible transformations that can occur when we push through the discomfort and embrace change. The early days were tough, but they were also a crucial part of the journey, setting the stage for the healthier, more vibrant life that awaited me. Each day on keto brought new victories, small triumphs that fueled my resolve. It wasn't just about the numbers on the scale, but about the myriad of changes I felt within myself. Every step forward, no matter how small, was a testament to my dedication and perseverance. The first time I stepped on the scale and saw a noticeable difference, it was a moment of pure joy. I remember the exact number, the way it felt to see my hard work reflected in those digits. It was more than just weight loss, it was a validation of my efforts and a glimpse of the potential that lay ahead. The surge of energy that replaced my mid-afternoon slump was another significant milestone. Before keto, I would often find myself dragging through the latter part of the day, struggling to stay awake and focused. But with keto, it was as if a fog had lifted. I felt invigorated, ready to tackle whatever challenges came my way. The mental clarity that allowed me to power through my work with laser focus was perhaps one of the most unexpected benefits. Tasks that once seemed daunting became manageable. I could think more clearly, make decisions more confidently, and my productivity soared. It was as if my brain had been given a tune-up. These weren't just physical changes, they were mental and emotional victories. I felt a sense of empowerment that I hadn't experienced in years. The discipline required to stick to the keto diet translated into other areas of my life. I felt more in control, more capable, and more resilient. I was proving to myself that I had the discipline and willpower to stick to this new way of eating. Each day that I stayed on track was a victory in itself. It wasn't always easy, but the sense of accomplishment I felt made it all worth it. 
I was building a stronger, more determined version of myself. With each passing day, the keto diet felt less like a challenge and more like a lifestyle choice, a commitment to my own well-being. It became a part of who I was, a reflection of my dedication to living a healthier, more fulfilling life. The changes I was experiencing were not just temporary, they were the foundation of a new way of living. The scale became a source of motivation, but it was the non-scale victories that truly resonated. The way I felt, the energy I had, the clarity of mind, these were the real rewards. The numbers on the scale were just one part of the story. The true measure of my success was how I felt inside and out. I felt lighter, more energetic, and my clothes fit better than they had in years. Shopping for clothes became a joy rather than a chore. I could wear styles I had long given up on and each new outfit was a celebration of my progress. It was a tangible reminder of how far I had come. The keto diet was transforming me from the inside out. It wasn't just about losing weight, it was about gaining a new perspective on life. I was becoming more mindful of what I put into my body, more aware of how it affected me and more committed to making choices that supported my overall well-being. Each milestone, no matter how small, was a step towards a healthier, happier me. The journey was far from over, but with each victory I felt more confident in my ability to reach my goals. The keto diet had given me more than just physical changes. It had given me a renewed sense of purpose and a deeper appreciation for the journey itself. 30 days, just 30 days, but it felt like a lifetime when I first started. I remember the initial excitement mixed with a tinge of apprehension. Could I really stick to this? Would it work for me? These questions swirled in my mind as I took my first steps on this keto journey. It seemed like an eternity when I first embarked on this journey, but now, standing here on the other side, it feels like a blink of an eye. Each day brought its own set of challenges and triumphs. There were moments of doubt but also moments of clarity and determination. I learned to navigate through the ups and downs and with each passing day I grew stronger and more resolute. The transformation wasn't just physical, although I had lost a significant amount of weight and my body fat percentage had plummeted, my clothes fit better and I could see the changes in the mirror, but beyond the visible changes, there was a deeper, more profound transformation taking place. My body was becoming healthier, more efficient, and more resilient. The real change was in how I felt. It was as if a fog had lifted, and I could see the world with a newfound clarity. My mood improved significantly, and I found myself smiling more often. The little things that used to bother me seemed trivial now. I felt a sense of peace and contentment that I hadn't experienced in a long time. I had more energy than I knew what to do with. My mind was sharp, my mood was elevated and I felt like I could take on the world. I started waking up earlier, eager to start my day. Tasks that used to feel like a chore became enjoyable. I was more productive, more focused and more engaged in everything I did and I felt a sense of accomplishment that went far beyond fitting into a smaller pair of jeans. It was about proving to myself that I could set a goal and achieve it. It was about the non-scale victories, like being able to run up a flight of stairs without getting winded or feeling confident in my own skin. These were the moments that truly mattered. The keto diet had not only reshaped my body, but it also redefined my relationship with food. I began to see food not just as a source of pleasure, but as fuel for my body. I learned to appreciate the nutritional value of what I was eating and to make choices that supported my health and well-being, but had also redefined my relationship with food. I started to understand the importance of balance and moderation. I no longer felt the need to indulge in unhealthy foods to feel satisfied. Instead, I found joy in eating wholesome, nutritious meals that left me feeling energized and nourished. I was no longer a slave to cravings and emotional eating. I was in control, making conscious choices that nourished my body and fueled my mind. I learned to listen to my body's signals and to eat when I was truly hungry, rather than out of boredom or stress. This newfound control gave me a sense of empowerment and freedom, making conscious choices that nourished my body and fueled my mind. I became more mindful of what I was putting into my body and how it made me feel. I started to enjoy the process of preparing and cooking my meals, experimenting with new recipes and ingredients. This journey was not just about losing weight, but about creating a healthier, happier, and more balanced life for myself.